Welcome everyone, I am James West, this is the Lions Den Academy, and today is day 33 of the Chosen Daily Devotional, which is titled, Perceive. The passage for today comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 22 through 23, which if you've been following along on the Matthew series that we've been doing as well, we did a rather long and in-depth study on this passage earlier, and I will link that video here as well as in the description below. But with that said, the passage reads, The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? How you see is what you get. Life and death, light and darkness, you choose the outcome when you choose whom to follow. Let the ranger with the big flashlight lead you, and you'll get back to camp safely. Ignore the ranger with the big flashlight, and you'll become disoriented, lost, and eaten by a bear. The choice is yours. Whichever route, it's your eyes that inform your body how to proceed. They communicate to your heart and soul which way to go. Of course, no one who ignores the light thinks that, they're in, that they'll end up as bear food. Their path is better, they believe, or at least easier. Regardless, they're unable to discern in the darkness that it leads straight into the bear cave. As Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In effect, he told his listeners that if they wanted to make it out of the woods alive, they'd do well to follow the one with the flashlight. The Pharisees were incensed by his claims. They asserted their unmatched knowledge of the woods and wanted to know who made him ranger. They questioned Jesus about it while a crowd was listening, and based on his answers, many in the crowd believed that Jesus was indeed the light of the world. And because they made the choice to follow him, they had the light. That's how it works, in that order. When you choose to follow him, you have the light because he is the light. He's the one who gives you the ability to see the path and perceive your surroundings as they really are. There is no do-it-yourself home remedy for healthy eyes and right perception. Jesus is the only one who can make you see. Once your eyes are healthy, everything is healthy because what you perceive affects your entire being. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light, Jesus said in Matthew 6.22. Likewise, a doctor shines a bright light into an unconscious patient's eyes to check for brain death. If the eye responds to light and the pupil constricts, then the patient's brain is okay. If it doesn't, it's dead. But unlike a person with brain death, it's never too late to make the decision to follow the light. We can choose to respond to the one who chose us first. He is the light, he knows the way, and he will lead us safely back to camp. Dear, and now I just want to pray with you over today's devotional here. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for giving us spiritually healthy eyes. And Lord, we, we just ask that you never um, let us take that for granted, um, that we are always thankful um, and, and, and so gracious for the, the gifts that you have given us and the changed lives that you have led us into being, Lord. Um, and, and Lord, we just ask that you always make us see clearly in whatever situation so that we can focus on you, even if it's in the midst of chaos, turmoil, and trouble. Um, what we want to focus on you and see you clearly um, so that we have you anchoring um, us to you um, as, as our rock and pillar of strength, Lord. And we pray this in your holy name. Amen. All right. And with that, we will wrap up today's video. As always, if you did enjoy that, I would just ask that you leave a like and a comment just to help YouTube's algorithm push this to others that might want a daily dose of God in their life. Um, but with that being said, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless and keep you.